welcome home. What's going on guys, it's Epoxy, and here in this video I'm going to be showing you guys how to install Skyrim Special Edition Script Extender, or SKSE 64, and this is currently build 2.0.6 for Skyrim Special Edition. So to get started, go ahead and go to the link down in the description below, skse.silverlock.org. As you can see, I'm on right now. And there is gonna be two different versions of the script extender. One of which is for the original Skyrim, which we're not interested in for this video. We're interested in the current SE build, which stands for Special Edition. So all we wanna do is go ahead and click on the 7-zip archive located next to the current SE build and save it to our downloads. So SKSE 64 will download in a 7-zip archive, which means you will require to download 7-zip onto your computer. You might already have it installed. You probably know what that is. If you have 7-zip installed, all you wanna do is simply right click, go to 7-zip and extract to SKSE 64 and it will extract it into a separate folder. We can go ahead and open that up. And once we have that open, we wanna go ahead and also find our Skyrim Special Edition game directory. We can do that by going to Steam, right-clicking on Skyrim Special Edition, going to Properties, going to Local Files, and Browse Local Files. That will then bring us into our Skyrim Special Edition game directory where we see our executable files here. So what you wanna do now is simply copy all of the files, not including the folders, and drag them over into your Skyrim SE directory. And that is the first installation step for installing SKSE 64. Now what we wanna do is right click on the data folder, go to 7-zip and add to data.7-zip and turn it into an archive. And then we can go ahead and right click and rename it to SKSE 64 scripts. Really, you can rename it to whatever you want. It's just so that you know what it is. Now you want to go ahead and open up your mod manager of choice. Here in this video, I am using Vortex. All you want to do is simply drag the archive that we created of SKSC 64 scripts and drag it right into your mod manager. And then you want to go ahead and install it. And then you'll want to enable it afterwards as well and we can just do so by enabling. And that is the installation of Skyrim Special Edition Script Extender or SKSE 64. But there is one more thing that I suggest doing as you will require to launch it through the SKSE 64 loader from now on. I'm gonna show you a few steps that you can go about doing so that the game is easier to launch and you don't have to open up the game directory every single time you wanna launch the game. So one way of going about this is right clicking on the SKSC 64 loader and going to send to the desktop as a shortcut. And then from here, we can just right click, go to properties, change icon, hit okay, and then we can browse. And then we'll go ahead and find our Skyrim special edition folder here and click on the executable, which will then use the icon from that executable and hit OK, and then we can apply. Now we can also rename it as well to whatever we want. So for example, SKSE 64 loader, and bam, now we have a desktop shortcut that we can use. I personally like launching it through my mod manager all the time, because I'm usually always playing around with my mods before I launch my game. So all you want to do is just go to your mod manager, find where it allows you to create its own executable, and edit and find the target. So we're gonna go ahead and find our Skyrim Special Edition folder again, and then choose our SKSC 64 loader and hit open and save. And now we can go ahead and launch the game through SKSC 64 and bam, it'll launch the game. And we'll just go ahead and get to the main menu and I'll show you how to make sure that it's working correctly. So once we're at the main menu, just go ahead and open up the console with the tilde key, the key next to the one on US and Canadian keyboards. If you're using a foreign keyboard, it may be different. I don't know what it is. You'll have to figure it out for yourself. But once you do, just simply type in get SKSC version as all one word and hit enter. And then it should show you the SKSC version, the release ID and the runtime. And if it does so, then it is working perfectly. So that is the installation of SKSE 64. Hopefully you got something out of this video. If you did, please smack that like button down below and subscribe to join the good fights if you haven't already. It would be super greatly appreciated as always. But anyways, guys, that's it for this video. And until next time, this is Epoxy signing off. Thanks.